Hi everyone, this is going to be a reading where we are going to have a look, this is for all star signs and the title will give you an indication as to what the reading is about but we're going to of course dig so much deeper and we're going to see what's coming through. So this isn't for a specific star sign, it is for all signs and if you're here it could be a sign in itself that there are some messages for you. So we're going to have a look and see really what is coming through and what messages I have for you. So yeah, let's take a look and let's let's see. Um, but before I do, just wanted to mention if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below as I do giveaways every single month. Um, all the information on how you can enter is down below. Also, the private services I offer are also listed down below as well, as are the intention manifesting items which are on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. Thousands of people have seen results with these items. There's different items for different categories. These items are handmade, meditated with, and saged. They are items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse. And uh, there's also... Uh, candles and also sage bundles as well so there's so many different intentions and um, yeah you can you can check them out there's lots and lots of different types of candles for different intentions these are handmade hand poured they are plant-based safety tested and they are super super special so do check them out if you are interested they keep selling out so you know and then they come back so because <laughs> of course they're made in small batches okay so let's have a look and see where this reading takes us Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card. Okay, so, so something courageous is going to happen here. Something courageous. It's like an opening because the Wheel of Fortune is a change. To me, this is like a 180. I know that technically you have a circle, so it would be a 360, but it, it's definitely a change. You know, it kind of takes you right back in a way where it takes, well, it takes you to where you want to go, but it takes you to something that you've really wanted and that's what I'm really picking up on. So basically the Wheel of Fortune is about you getting what you've once wanted which kind of takes you back into your kind of manifestation of, of the past of what you've wanted but also in a way of course it's taking you forward, right? So the Strength card here is really interesting because it's to do with courage and strength so I'm interested and intrigued to see where we're headed with this message. Okay, so we have the Strength card with a three of ones. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, some of you waited for this as well. This is an opening. So I'm also seeing an emotional opening. So I feel like some of you have waited for some kind of contact to come your way, not just any kind of contact, an emotional opening in terms of a contact. So basically a, a situation in which someone can, um, tell you how they feel about you and you've just been kind of thinking like okay does this person care do they really like me do they have feelings towards me do they like me just as much as I like them there's a sense here of you needing an emotional opening from them not just any kind of communication but specifically emotional communication um, or to be able to recognize that bond and so and that's what I see is that I actually feel here that that's what's coming your way is that someone around you is going to, and this could be someone that perhaps you've been dating, it could be someone that you've known, but this is some, this is basically someone that you've wanted yourself for them to come towards you and for them to open up emotionally towards you. It's something that you've wanted. As I mentioned, many of you have manifested this. So that's the thing, especially with the high priestess is that this is a desire of yours that now is coming to fruition where they actually will express themselves to you, which is fascinating. And then we've got here, yeah, there you go, Ace of Cups, it's coming. Um, we've also got the Page of Pentacles. This is them telling you the truth of really how they feel towards you and justice. There you go. That's about the balancing aspect here. So how you feel towards them. They're also, to a degree, really telling you like, this is how I feel about you. This is how I see things. This is how I'd like things to be. This is how I feel about you and towards you and well there you go there we go all right i think we are getting somewhere now it's like um pieces of the puzzle oh yeah look enlightenment You've got double neptune energy now neptune is really powerful because neptune is to do with the soul's journey it's to do with dreams imagination it's also to do with spirituality and basically the soul's journey and so i definitely feel here someone is is realizing that they really do like you and they they feel so connected to you and they feel really 
optimistic about this connection and so there's basically a phone call or a text message um, or some kind of communication that comes from this person that you've really been waiting for which just makes you feel so overly like optimistic, excited, fulfilled, rejuvenated, motivated, excited. It's nice. It's really nice to see. I think it's actually really wonderful because there's just a sense here of you feeling like, wow, you know, I was not wrong. I was intuitively and it's not because of just your ego you know and you being like oh I was not wrong um it's more so essentially with the high priestess this is your intuition you can finally feel like wow I really do trust my intuition and I know that this person had these feelings towards me I know this person felt this towards me and I wasn't just making it all up in my head you're going to feel so much more confident in your own intuition and how you also see yourself but also your belief in them and knowing that they do feel this towards you I think is is something that really just gives so much to you and so yeah this person is going to emotionally express themselves to you as time goes by and justice is about you feeling like wow okay like now I know what's happening I know what's what makes you feel more like peace of mind four of wands there you go. Boom. Divine timing, right? It all happens in divine timing. See, they're going to come to you emotionally. You've got a lot of court cards which are water-based. Water-based, not oil-based. <laughs> oh, that happens. Do you know what? That happens. <laughs> uh, is it water-based or is it oil-based? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, they are water-based. There is no, I don't think there's a tarot card that is like oil-based, but the, the main thing here is that there's just such a beautiful energy, which is really to do with the fact that we pick up on um, a lot of water energy. So, you know, if you are dealing with a water sign, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty significant um, because we've got a lot of water, but it doesn't just mean that. Um, so this isn't really for, you know, specific star signs, like I mentioned, but some of you might connect to that in that way. The main thing here is, is really them having this understanding and this realization of what you truly mean to them and then them actually telling you rather than you kind of thinking like, do they, don't they, do they, don't they, do they, don't they, don't they, do they? So they're going to come to you and emotionally express themselves to you and, and really talk about just how kind and caring and genuine of a person you are and how they really haven't stopped thinking about you and they really want to progress things further and see where things go further. And I, I just think it's nice because you'll get that sort of clarity and truth from them. And I think that's really lovely because the hangman definitely shows this opening here, but also it shows enlightenment. And so their soul is just much more aware, but also much more open towards progressing things here rather than keeping things closed off or kind of, you know, being in their own world, which they tend to have a tendency of doing, you know. But yeah, the four of wands with the knight of cups here really goes to show that they want to come towards you. And wow, okay, here we go. We've got the ten of cups here as well. So there you go. There you go. More water. More water. The ice turns into water. That's nice. Okay, and then we've got here the Queen of Pentacles. So this just gives you clarity, you know, that, okay, you know, I knew all along, I felt good about it. Um, and here's them coming to you with communication, opening themselves up to you. Yep, King of Swords, really quite truthful, very open, um, very at times also blunt with their words where they can be like, you know, I really do feel this way towards you. And you're just like, yep. Can you, you know, can you expand on that? And they'll be like, well, I, you know, they kind of just lay things out on the table, you know, like, I really think that you're so kind. And then you're probably thinking that you want more of an explanation on that, but they've kind of already explained it. So yeah, they can, they can come to you in a nice, emotionally open way, but they can also be quite, you know, straightforward and very to the point, if that makes sense. Um, so that's another thing, but uh, the fool definitely goes to show this opening. And that's uh, basically this new opening here for a real sense of emotional communication, right? Emotionally, them opening up to you, telling you how they feel about you emotionally. Okay, so let's go with the Mercury Realms Edition 2 cards and see what we have got going on here. Okay. The shame that eats at me for how I've treated you. So yeah, I think they feel bad about just not being able to open up as much as they would like to have done or as quickly as they would have liked to have done. They just feel like, wow, I should have really just, you know, um, 
you know, been much more proactive and progressive uh, straight away and perhaps not as kind of, you know, held back or reserved as much and things like that. So that's one thing I see. And we've got here your birthday. So there's something they are thinking about in regards to your birthday. Something could have also happened on your birthday, but they also might be thinking ahead to your birthday. There's something about your birthday. If you've got a birthday coming up, um, I mean, this is a pretty good explanation of them perhaps wanting to emotionally open up to you on your birthday. Um, but there's something about your birthday. Let me know, actually. Let me know about your birthday. Oh, well, actually, that's a very personal thing to ask. But I mean, if you wanted to, you know, tell me or if you find that that just really resonates, I'd love to know. Because sometimes, you know, the messages are so specific and yeah, I would love to know, you know. Uh, yeah, so there's something about your birthday. And then we've got here, I'm going to reach out soon. I did, I did sense it from the very beginning that this uh, reading is about communication. But of course, it's about an opening, uh, an emotional opening in terms of communication, not just a hi, hello, how are you? This is a real sense of them thinking about progressing things, thinking about your characters, uh, sorry, your, well, your character, your values, your personality, your generosity your kindness it's more than just hello it's more than that and i think that that's another thing that we really pick up on so beautifully so of course this is your reading um yeah so let me know of course um how this resonates with you and also don't forget to if you like this um sorry if you claim this reading don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below as well and uh, yeah, I would love to know, but also definitely do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website as well. Definitely do check those out if you are interested. And I also wanted to mention, yeah, that uh, I also have TikTok and Instagram. So if you wanted to um, follow me on there, feel free to do so. I post short readings on there every single day, um, tarot readings. And yeah, the description box below has information on private paid readings, intention items, you know, you get the drill. <laughs> so that's all down there. I'll see you all very soon.